I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to apply binomial theorem when negative and fractions are involved right in general if you have a term a plus b to the power of n uh, then it could be written as in sigma notation r equals to 0 to n ncr a to the power of n minus r times b to the power of r. So that is a general formula for binomial theorem. This really means we have to sum all the terms where r is increased from 0 to n. These are all whole numbers. Now what we are given here is x minus 1 over x square to the power of 4. So in our case, n is 4, right? So since n is 4, I could kind of, kind of write it in expanded form or also in this form. So let me write first in this form. So what we have here is in sigma notation, n is 4, r will be from 0 to 4, right? 5, 4, c, r, a to the power of 4 minus r, times b to the power of r. I should have replaced a with x, a for me is x and b is equals to minus 1 over x square. Right? But I'll do it in the next statement while expanding all these terms. Correct? So a will be replaced by x, b will be replaced by minus 1 over x square. So now we can expand this and write it as 4c0 when r is 0. So it is 4c0 a to the power of 4 since r is 0. b to the power of 0 is 1. Anyway, a is x, right? Let me write x to the power of 4. Okay. Plus the second term will be 4c1 x to the power of 3 and b is minus 1 over x squared. So I write 1 over x square with minus sign plus 4c2 x square times minus 1 over x square square always the sum of these two exponents should be 4 and total number of terms we are expecting 5 one more than n correct so we have now 4c3 x cube I mean x1 and uh, minus 1 over x square cube plus 4c2 x becomes 0 so power of 0 is 1 we are not writing it minus 1 over x square to the power of 4 right so that is what we get now to write these 4c0 4c1 4c2 4c3 you can use calculator correct so 4c0 is 1 anyway uh, let's use calculator 4c0 is equals to 1 so, so first term as expected should have 1 as the coefficient right now in the next term 4c1 you know is 4 so you could write this as 4 times x cube times minus 1 over x square so we'll write 4 times x cube times minus 1 over x square. Now the next term for us is 4c2 so let's do 4c2 equals to 6 so it is 6x square times now when you square a negative term it becomes positive so we have 1 over x square square is to the power of 4 plus 4c3 so 4c3 gives you 4. You can get these numbers from symmetry also, right? So 4x and here we get minus 1 over 3 times 2 is 6. Correct. Plus this should be 4c4, sorry. 4c4 you know is 1. So we are left with 1 over x 4 times 2 as 8. So that is what you get right now let us simplify it further we 
have x to the power of 4 minus and plus makes it negative x cube divided by x square is x so we will get 4x here correct next term positive 6 times x squared divided by x to the power of 4 means uh, you can say x to the power of minus 2 plus 4 times so what we have here is I'm sorry minus and plus will make it negative okay and x divided by x to the power of 6 will give x to the power of minus 5 this will be plus x to the power of minus 8 so that is how you can expand and write down so our answer is x minus 1 over x squared to the power of 4 is equals to x to the power of 4 minus 4x plus 6x to the power of minus 2 minus 4x to the power of minus 5 plus x to the power of minus 8. So I hope you understand how we can expand using binomial theorem where the terms could be negative or fractions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn from my videos. Thank you and all the best.